Wait, please. Dear 2022, where do we begin? After 2021, we were ready for a fresh start. So many tears and fights, so many messed up nights. Balls were up in the air to kick off the new year. Novak Djokovic sent home on the eve of the Australian Open after his last ditch legal challenge failed. But there were some big winners on the field. The Mighty Geelong Footy Club, they are going to be premiers in 2022. The 2022 NRL Premiers are the Penrith Panthers. Ash Barney is the Australian Open champion. Because we got so much history. And like all years, you certainly weren't without your rainy days. The heartbreak. Brisbane households being inundated without warning during this year's deadly floods. Natural disaster declared in the central west. Lashing rain across the top end. Flood crisis in Victoria where tens of thousands of people have been forced to flee their homes. And we weren't quite ready for it to claim so many iconic lives. In breaking news, Taylor Hawkins, drummer for rock band Foo Fighters, has died aged 50. I got on a plane with Alanis after doing a couple shows with the Foo Fighters. And she said, what are you going to do when Dave Grohl asks you to join the Foo Fighters? Well, that's never going to happen. Australia has lost one of its greatest cricketers of all time. Cricket's best spin bowler the world's ever seen, Shane Warne. I've had so many highs in my life. I've had a few lows as well. But I've been so lucky to play in such a wonderful era of Australian cricket and achieved so much as a team and also individually. Few have shaped Australian music as much as Glenn Wheatley, aged 74. Meatloaf is being remembered for his giant talent and gentle soul after passing away at the age of 74. She was a member of one of the most popular music groups of the 20th century. Fleetwood Mac vocalist, keyboardist and songwriter Christine McPhee has died. Hello, cheers. Tributes for Emmy-winning actress Kirstie Alley. The world cricket community is in shock following the death of Rod Marsh. Tributes for Australian cricketer Andrew Simons. Award-winning Australian music titan Archie Roach has passed away. And one of the most loved Australians in the world, if not the most loved, Olivia Newton-John has passed away. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Wow! Will Smith just smacked the s*** out of it. Things went south. Keep my wife's name out your mouth! Amber and Johnny, a true love crime. Um, isn't happy hour anytime? And you delivered the musical goods to create the soundtrack of 2022. It's me, hi, I'm blasting our favorite tunes. I cheat, I got my head out just on the roof. Everything. But I think it's time to start fresh. New year, new me, right? We've got the new in our sights and we're just about ready to move on to 2023. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! Oh, Carly, pop it up, Alice. Woo! <laughs> happy New Year, Liz. Oh, happy New Year. If you're any closer, I'll give you a big kiss. 
fun hasn't finished, though. No. No, we're going to do more shout-outs. We're going to do more DJ Konski mashups as well. So keep those phones ringing. 13, 10, 60. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. Resolutions, not worrying about it. Same old us. Same old us. Yeah. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Let's just be honest with ourselves this year. That's my resolution. No disappointment in 2023. <laughs> 131060, your New Year's Eve party playlist, Elisa and Carly across Australia. Are you ready? Are you ready? I've been a, go up the sex in a.